blah, blah, blah. The link is in the description. Blah, blah, blah. Energy, energy gap, energy, energy. Thank you, Yerepa. Hey guys, in this video, we're gonna get to the bottom of why we feel tired while working from home and what we can do about it and find out which of these things affect us and try the solution so we can maximize our workday. And we're doing that right now. You know, may paganan pa oh eh. Mr. Shoden, the Pinoy video marketer in this channel, we talk about everything that involves online freelancing, working from home, and video marketing. If you want to know more about any of these topics, comment lang kayo guys dito sa baba so I can know what you want to see next. Now let's get started. For most of the workforce, working from home due to the pandemic is still new. Pero for freelancers like us, not so new. Pero while remote work has a lot of benefits, a lot of us who work from home have performance issues. If this is you, hindi ka nag -iisa. Whether it's caused by monotony, a lack of energy, or something else, this can take a serious bite out of your productivity. So, if you're tired of working from home, let's go over what might be causing it and what we can do to fix it. Diba? So, you want to go play now? Okay, play, play the movie then. Number one, you miss social interaction. As an extrovert, I gain energy from social interaction. And introverts, naman, they feel drained by it. So if you're an extrovert like me working from home for extended periods, para kang may battery na missing ng charger. But the truth is, whether you're extroverted or not, we all crave social interaction to some extent. It's part of being human. If you haven't had any social interaction lately, that may be why you feel tired working from home. Solution, get creative with how you stay connected with your friends and colleagues while working remotely. Mimic social interaction virtually through communication tools like Zoom to get to know and really get to know your colleagues online. Not just yung superficial guys, I mean get to know them in a deep level even if it's just online. So try to integrate more video calls into your work life. You're gonna need to fill out uh, and when you do that. Kevin, were you just in the bathroom? What? What are Dave? you doing? No. What are you doing? Were you just in the bathroom? No. What? Rather than just emails and chat messages. Lastly, if you can, spend time with your loved ones to get your social fix. I actually talked about how to deal with loneliness while working from home. Check out this video here, here, or here. Dito na. Also, smash that like button sa algorithm para sa interaction natin. Number two, you lack a routine. Or, your routine is boring. Variety is the spice of life. And, minsan yung mga drama sa office, politics, that actually makes life a little bit more interesting. Siyempre, that's no longer here, pero with us, we actually have to deal with being alone. And what can we do about this? Solution? Try creating and sticking to a work from home schedule. I believe that having a rigid routine keeps me sane and provides me with a sense of comfort. Having a routine can reduce stress. What it does to my brain is that it's less cognitively demanding. Third reason you are more sedentary than usual. Employees often complain how much sitting they do in the office, but the truth is, physically going into work is often more active than working from home. So think about it. Pagka, pagkagising natin, all we really have to do is walk a few steps. Pero if we actually have to go to work and travel to work, that takes more energy. So think of all the little things that all add up. Walking to your car, going to the train, going down to the train station, chatting with your office mate, joining your office mate for lunch. Pero, if you're working from home, the commute to any place inside your house, ganyan, and then ganas office mo. So, it's really, really short. And without any co-workers around, it can be easy to forget to get up and take a break. So, this is what we forget. Solution, schedule movement into your day. Or, or, or. Pwede mong exercise yung thumb mo, sa phone mo, or yung mouse finger mo by smashing the like button thrice para ma-exercise yung kamay at daliri mo. Additionally, like what I have here right now is actually a standing desk. And if you can rig up a standing desk 
that can also help reduce your sitting time. And pwede ka rin mag-exercise with your kid like like what I do. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Daddy is pushing up. Daddy is pushing up. Okay. Okay. One. Two. Two. <laughs> Four. What about you? What are the things that you do to keep yourself active while working from home? Number four, the boundaries between work and personal life are blurred. So if you're used to working from an office and now you're working from home, the collision of work and personal life can be disorienting. Diba? Kasi you can literally log off. It's a physical log off from your office computer when you used to be working it in, in an office. Pag mag log off ka na, that also turns off your head or your mind away from work. You can literally shut off everything from work. So you used to having the physical cues and boundaries that signal that it's time to work and time to stop working. And when you leave the office, your brain knows that work is over. But now, kung yung office natin is yung kitchen table mo where you eat dinner with your family, that lacks the physical separation between work and personal life, which means your brain natin it it doesn't really feel like it's off the clock or it's still it's still feeling that it's working even if tapos na yung work you're already eating but the same place the same workspace is actually also your family space yun yun yah yung feeling na parang always on di ba like feeling natin na there's so many more things to do that happens even when you're supposed to be looking after your kid you're supposed to be chilling now on your couch it still feels draining the solution if you can and you should, right? So kung ngayon hindi pa kaya, you should strive to do this. Create a physical space that is only for work. So even if if it's a cheap desk lang that you put in the corner of the living room. Right now, medyo okay na yung living space ko, but before I used to work dun sa dirty kitchen namin. And then ito, nasa likod lang to, malapit na uulanan pa nga to dati, but hiwalay siya. Doon ako nag-work talaga and nukod nilagay yung laptop ko and everything. And the more physical the separation that you can create such as cat divider or even the door ito my door na ngayon so okay na siya uh, the better okay i hope you, you you implement this because this is a huge thing for working from home number 5 ang dami daming distractions when you're working from home ang dami nating distractions more actually than in the office kasi at least dun sa office yung distractions natin ay pang office lang pero now, sa bahay, yung distractions natin are also about work, like literal freelance work or remote work, plus yung mga distractions natin sa bahay. So, it's very different than what we're used to. Kasi, kaya mo talaga sabihin na, oh, teka lang, busy ako. Mas easy siyang i-brush off because you just want to be a productive co-worker. Pero, you are working from home now and you're called to do two things. To be a productive person, a productive business person, and also a good parent, spouse, roommate, or partner. Pwede mong sabihin kasi yung co-worker mo na, sorry but I'm busy right now, and you won't feel guilty. Diba? But can you say that to your child? It's a different story. If your child comes in and wants to play with you, you can say that, oh, don't come here, I'm busy, but I'm training my kid to, to know that I'm working during this hour. Okay? That in and of itself is actually the point that most of us choose to work from home. And we're going to talk about that in another video. The solution dito is gently but firmly communicate your boundaries to everyone in your household. Let them know which hours you'll be working so they know when it's quiet time from you. So if you have kids and a partner, tell them that while you're getting your work done, they can watch your children, your pets, and vice versa. I personally work while my son and wife are still asleep, so I have several hours in the morning to myself. So we're going to talk more about productivity hacks in this channel as well because it, it concerns working from home and online freelancing and swell video marketing. Right? Number six, you're not taking restful breaks. Let me ask you, have you ever taken a break where you just actually pulled out your phone and started scrolling through social media? Me too. <laughs> 
Pero, hindi daw pala totoong break yun. Being on your cell phone during a break can actually deplete your mental capacity. In the Rutgers experiment, some subjects completed challenging puzzles and then stopped halfway through to take a break with a cell phone, paper, or computer while the rest took no break. When they returned to the puzzles, the group that had used cell phones on their break actually scored worse than any other break type. OMG! Meaning the cognitive depletion matched those who didn't take any break at all. To your brain, being on the phone is actually taxing because you have to process a lot of things on the screen. And when you're constantly connected to your phone, laptop, or smartwatch, or tablet, it's too easy to take breaks kunyare pero hindi talaga siya restful. So akala mo mahaba na yung break mo pero hindi ka pa pala nagbe-break. Solution: When you take a break, step away from electronics. Grab a book or exercise or sit outside, you know, dun sa porch nyo. Watch the trees, watch nature, watch clouds go by. If you must go out, magsuot ka ng mask well, although bawal na uli pala lumabas. So bawal lumabas. <laughs> And that is it. Wait, wait, wait. I have an extra tip. Mag Milo to fill that energy gap. Energy, energy gap. Energy, energy. 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 <laughs> 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 De, joke lang. Milo is actually bad for you. So that's it, guys. I hope you gained some clarity on why you feel tired while working from home. And hopefully here there's a solution that you might not have considered. And I hope that you got something from this list and get to apply them. Which one did you end up doing? And which one did you like the most? Hey, Julian, come here. You wanna, you wanna join Daddy? <laughs> Diba Julian, you want to shoot videos, no? Yes. Yes. Hmm. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Omg.